bed. I'm guarding you. I'm guarding you. What time is it? How much time do we have? Two minutes. Ten minutes? No. Just what you have. We have 40 minutes. I got 40 minutes. No, she doesn't. Good evening. Uh, welcome to the final game. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Amen. <laughs> Um, I've been writing this speech for a couple of months now. Frankly, I wasn't sure what I could possibly share with you that hasn't been talked about yet. We are always talking about mechanics and recruitment and how to get hired, the lists, the dress code, and how to teach and run a group. These are all important discussions, but more and more I am convinced that while what may draw people into the activity is the dancing, what keeps them coming back is how they are treated, the sense of community, the friendship set to music piece. The majority of dancers really don't care what level they are dancing or what calls are or are not called. They don't really mind different music. They just want to have fun in an environment where they can be accepted, dance and work together, fellowship, laugh, support each other, break bread together. And the big problem that I see is that we have forgotten how to get along with people. We as a community have forgotten how to be respectful, kind, engaging, and honorable. Our slogan that we proudly advertise is friendship set to music. But are we truly friendship set to music? I believe it's what happens when we get them in the door that we don't do such a good job with. Don't, don't get me wrong, there are a ton of great people in this activity who are welcoming, kind, <coughs> considerate, and understand that it's not just about the dance. These are the groups that are growing and retaining their dancers. But many of us have become invested in our own opinions, on our own way of doing things. The focus is on me. How will it affect me? How can I build myself up and convince everyone that I am more important than anybody else? It makes me sad. I shake my head at some of the conversations I have witnessed. I have cringed at some of the stories I have heard, heard from callers and dancers. And I am embarrassed by the actions of some of my peers. Some days, I don't wonder why people don't stay in this activity. To someone, you are a rock star. Every single one of you. It doesn't matter if you call to a thousand dancers at a festival or to one square in your hometown. Someone looks up to you, admires you, is a fan of yours. Every single one of you. They are observing, emulating, and modeling their behavior off of yours. Do not underestimate the influence that each and every one of you have within your groups and your square dance family. With that rock star status comes great responsibility. We have a responsibility to the people in our groups to act with integrity and treat people with kindness and respect. We have a responsibility to model good behavior and be an example to our officers and our members. It is just as important as what level we are calling, the music we are using, and all the other mechanics that go into this activity. Our job, as I see it, is to make sure that we provide the attendees a positive, enjoyable few hours that we entertain to the best of our ability and send them out the door feeling a bit better than when they walked in. I recently read an article about the 11 habits of ridiculously likable people by Dr. Travis Bradbury. We all want to be likable. In this article, he outlined some traits that successful and likable people exhibit. Many of the things he talks about are relevant to our activity. I would like to share a couple of highlights with you. Being genuine and honest is essential to being likable. No one likes a fake. People gravitate towards those who are genuine because they know they can trust them. It is difficult to like someone when you don't know who they really are or how they feel. We all have a public persona and a private persona. The best advice that I have ever given new callers is that they need to be themselves. Authenticity is the best way to live. Give the activity the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. If you are not a joke teller, don't tell jokes. 
If you aren't flashy, there is no need to put on the flash. Don't imitate the caller you look up to. People know when someone is putting on an act. I would much rather know authentic you than a fake version of you. Earn trust and respect by being yourself. The biggest mistake people make when it comes to listening is that they're so focused on what they're gonna say next or how, or how what the other person is saying is going to affect them that they fail to hear what's being said. The words come through loud and clear, but the meaning is lost. Do you know anything about your dancers, aside from whether they can do -si do or relay the doozy? -si? Do your groups allow time to talk to each other and make connections? Are you able to read the mood of your group to be able to adjust your calling? Listen to your dancers. Listen to your visitors. Don't be so convinced that you alone know how a night should go. Some nights your dancers will dance any and everything you can throw at them. Some nights you'll be lucky to get a successful right and left brand out of them. <laughs> Learn to listen to the floor and be willing to adjust your plan to provide the best event that you possibly can. If you want to be likable, you must be open-minded. Being open-minded makes you approachable and interesting to others. No one wants to have a conversation with someone who has already formed an opinion and is not willing to listen. How many times have you heard or responded to new ideas with, we tried that and it didn't work? I have heard too many stories about the spark plugs in our groups who have the energy and the time to try something new, only to be told it can't or shouldn't be done. Many club leaders and callers aren't willing to entertain anything other than their own agenda. You don't know everything, no matter how big your ego is. Don't be dismissive or ridicule or talk down to people with new ideas. If you are graceful and humble and open-minded, it might just be the next great thing for your group. And if not, who cares? At least you tried. The path to success is different for every single group. Effective leaders are always willing to listen to other ideas and are open to change. I'm ready, for the, I'm ready for the daggers for this one. People are adverse to those who are desperate for attention. You don't need to develop a big extroverted personality to be likable. Simply being friendly and considerate is all you need to win people over. We all love to be up on this stage holding the mic and performing for the dancers. It's what we do. But do you always need to be the center of attention? When working with others, does it become a game of one-upmanship? Do you always have to prove to your dancers or other callers that you're working with that you know it all? Take it down a notch. Seriously. It is in the best interest of this activity to not deliberately make someone else look incompetent or prove that you can break everybody down with your out-of-this-world choreography. They are not going to remember how good you think you are. What they will remember is how you treated them. There is a time and a place for showboating. To be consistent, you must be reliable and you must ensure that even when your mood goes up and down, it doesn't affect how you treat other people. Becoming cognizant of your gestures, expressions, and tone of voice, and making certain they're positive will draw people to you like ants to a picnic. I have a confession to make. I don't like everyone in this activity. I am sure each of you have people who are challenges. We all do. But as a leader, when I am front and center on that microphone, I must be kind to everyone. Kill them with kindness. Even on the days when they get on your last nerve. And we all know, we all have days like that. The same goes for you and your groups. How you treat newcomers, both new dancers and visitors, will say a lot for your group. It is our responsibility to treat them with respect and courtesy. Dance with everyone, greet everyone, welcome everyone. You can write and complain with your inner circle far away from the dance hall or the after party. Don't do it in public. Remember, you are a rock star, and I guarantee you that somebody is watching. People gravitate toward those who are passionate. 
That said, it's easy for passionate people to come across as too serious or uninterested because they, because they tend to get absorbed in their work. Likeable people balance their passion with the ability to have fun. Be enthusiastic and confident. Be passionate about what you do. But remember to not take yourself so seriously. There is a fine line between passion and arrogance. There is a fine line between passion, being passionate, and being a bully. Your way is not the right way for everybody. Our theme this year is change your perspective. I would challenge you to take some time and think about how you treat those around you. What kind of energy are you as a leader putting out there? If you don't like the way you are treated by others, consider how you treat others. As a general rule, when you treat others well, people will treat you well. If you are generous towards others, people will tend to be generous towards you. If you are compassionate with others, people will tend, tend to be compassionate with you. If you are harsh towards others, people will tend, will tend to be harsh towards you. The way you perceive others will go a long way towards the way you perceive, they perceive you. Do you look to build up others and encourage them? Or do you look to use people to your advantage? My wish? That we could stop acting like it's us against them. Old against new, hobby versus occasional dancers versus diehards, local callers versus the tra traveling callers, intricate versus simple choreography. I wish that we would treat the people who walk through our door with dignity and kindness and respect. I wish that we would work toward, to build each other up and celebrate all of our different personalities. I wish that we could realize that together we could be a force to be reckoned with. That we would find a way to build community in our groups. Maybe then we will find our numbers start to grow. Thank you for your time. You are all rock stars in my book.